Only play <laughs> with friends. Oh my god. <laughs> We're survivors. We've got to get that train moving. That looks like my school college teacher. This guy walking right here that's just a stab in the head? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh! It worked! It worked! <laughs> <laughs> nice quick step. <laughs> Asshole. No! He's smart! <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, it's like a turkey. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He's just looking up at yes. the moon. There's a silly zombie standing around doing jack shit. Tomar, this is what the zombie's saying. <laughs> that's that's his that's his internal monologue. Chris, do the cool <laughs> Area 51 alien again. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, imagine at home. Imagine a cool cool giant bunker. Thousand feet by thousand feet, there's only one alien in the middle doing that. <laughs> <laughs> For 50 years, he's been doing that. that. That's what Area 51 actually is. He's just been standing around him, watching him go like he's a break dancer or He's something. confirmed with multiple inside sources. That yeah. is literally what Area 51 is. Bob Lazar said that in his tell-all interview with Joe Rogan. He said that's exactly what he saw. <laughs> You um, mean the alley that's on fire? Well, you're good kind joke. of hard to get through there. Um, you kind of, you kind of can't walk through fire. <laughs> <laughs> you're a tough girl. You'll snail twirl through it. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. That's a beautiful woman. It, how big is she? She's pretty big. E that lady? Yeah. Look at her. She's just a tall lady. What's People wrong with that? People come in huh? all shapes and sizes. Chris, what the fuck's your problem? <laughs> But she's like, she's bent over and still the same. She's huge. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. She's a freak and you should kill her. But it, it, not because <laughs> of that. It's because her nose is off center. I've seen this little jester character in, in two separate places now. <laughs> she, she said you gotta said. do something about that little jester. <laughs> yeah, no, he needs to be killed too. I'm gonna use my knife on this thing. Oh, no, that won't work. Okay. I need to find like a You need a to crank. find a wrench. Police, police. These police barricades are working pretty good. Well, oh. yeah, I mean, they, they're not going to break the law just because they're, you know, mindless zombies. Uh-oh. In fact, that would make them more prone to obey the law. I dislike authority. So, <laughs> fuck you. I can't wait for more social commentary. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> you won't have to. <laughs> there, go down the way they opened up, right? Speaking of I biting it. social commentary, I don't know why, but I was thinking about the book Maniac McGee the other day. Did you guys have to read that in school? No. No. It doesn't it ring book, any bells. It was a book written in, like, the fucking 90s about how bad segregation is. It's like you're a really? little late on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad some brave author took a stand against no. that horrible thing, finally. <laughs> I don't Ooh. trust that door. What was on the safe? I don't trust that safe. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's uh, a secret between, between me and my beautiful, beautiful aqua, cure aqua, queen. aqua cure queen. What hell does that mean? <gasps> Give me that. I'm kind of scared, you guys. Oh, it's the Mona Lisa! Ah! <laughs> I, I would not feel- I would not feel safe if there was a stairway from the street directly into my door like that. Oh, fuck you! Oh. No! You big He's fucking Louis C.K. motherfucker. And he even had a safety <laughs> vest on. That wasn't safe at all. He asked permission first, Chris. He said, uh, do you mind if I- <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. He established consent. I wasn't even talking about that. I was talking about <laughs> how he looked. <laughs> no, I was too. <laughs> if the king of art came to your house and he brought the Mona Lisa with I'd him, put a, I'd put my fucking head through it. You would? <laughs> yeah. If he if he like brought over the Mona Lisa, is like check this out. I brought it over because I thought it was kind of cool, and he like left it in your living room, and he called you up and he was like, hey, I, I left the Mona Lisa there. Can you just like you know next time I swing by, I'll I'll pick it up. You pick, pick would it up, you right. touch it at all? No. No, I, and I and I would also I would also buy a gun immediately because I would assume if there's eyes on me, someone's gonna come take it from me or kill me or something. I was something. gonna say, yeah, I'd I be more, I'd be more worried about there, the people after it. <laughs> I wouldn't even want it there. It would be a a source of tension for sure, but it's also a great potential, you know. Great, great potential for what? Just sitting in your living room for, for mischief. Well, fortune favors the bold. I always say. 
me. What would you um, do to it? What would you potentially do to cause uh, mischief? Man, to the Mona Lisa. I don't like. You could you could go on like Omegle. You could bring you the could Mona sign Lisa. your name on. You could write you could write Lyle I, Rath on on the I bottom could, right I could, hand. But for... I could also go on Omegle. I could hold the Mona Lisa in front of the webcam on Omegle. And I could do oh like a high voice. Omegle. Yeah, no, like like Omegle. See, yeah, you, like, yeah, yeah, you go on Omegle. Go on Omegle, hold the Mona Lisa up, do like a high pitched voice. People think they're talking to a girl, right? And then you say like, "Hey, you want to be my boyfriend? It's fifty dollars. It's the Mona Lisa, and it's because it's the now, most beautiful now, scenario, woman they've ever seen." Now, have you cut a whole lot? Have you have you removed your mouth like the SpongeBob painting, and you're talking through the mouth like that, or is it just a uh, picture? Yeah, natural. I mean, it's got to be believable. Yeah, you've got to you've got to see a mouth moving. Right. So, so you cut out you cut out the eyes and the nose and the mouth of Mona oh Lisa. And put your put your face through it. Yeah. Yeah, and then you go on Omegle. <laughs> And then you get guys news, and then you blackmail them for fifty dollars. Uh, exactly tonight. right. That was and a real I, scam. I, I, I think you could probably buy a replacement Mona Lisa with all that money by the time. I think you're you done. painted a couple extra ones to get for your rainy day, so I think it'd be yeah. fine. See, I'm I'm just saying I I wouldn't be afraid of this thing in my house. This great money making. I, I'm like Adam Sandler in Uncut Gems. You know, I, I'm addicted to the hustle. I haven't seen that, so that reference falls on deaf yeah, ears. Is that a good yeah, movie? I've it, never it was seen okay. that either. I wouldn't watch it again, but it was okay. <laughs> well, this is a familiar <laughs> sight. That, that's you, Wait. Chris. That's you. That's you with pizza sauce all over your over your tummy. <laughs> he, he he looks like he had a bunch of spaghetti on his shirt. Yeah, you don't. It, it's hard to tell which is the blood and which He's is the spaghetti. He's at a diner too. Yeah, he didn't. I'm glad he didn't games even, like this. <laughs> I think this guy. I think this guy's the only guy. He just ate too much spaghetti. Yeah, this is the only guy in the world who doesn't die for being bit. He bit for. He ate too much spaghetti. Went oh, and fell over. And then right after that, everyone started turning. And not only that, I think no, 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 no. I think he died a week ago. I think he's been de decomposing while people were walking around that guy for about a week. Imagine if you're having an embarrassing spaghetti death, and then you see like a mass pandemic Ooh. where a bunch of people around you are dying yeah. as your vision is fading out. It's actually the best thing that can happen if you're that guy. Yeah, no, you your final thought, and you wouldn't have enough time to second guess and feel guilty about it. Would be, oh, thank God, they're not gonna know I choked on spaghetti. No, they're gonna think they're either thinking to think that that I've got they're, they're either thinking to think that I got bit by a zombie or everyone died of spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Chris, you sure you mm -hmm. you want to store the knife? Yeah, it's been complete. Sh oh yeah, no, you're for punching over boxes. You're right. Yeah. I know it's been bad as a weapon. I bet at some point this game will have like little enemies that do die with like one or two hits from the knife. Like little beep, like little beep, torsos beep, beep. crawling along the ground or something. For somebody that has said that they've never played this game, you sure are an expert all of a sudden, Tomar. You I have been. On us. I'm just Tom Tomar Look, beat this game in thirty five minutes on a I'm, speed run. I'm trying to make predictions here. Tomar, I, I, Tomar, Tomar was you, dressed as Link playing I, this game on a speed cool speed run. You didn't predict that red jewel being in there. I found the red jewel. <laughs> and that changed everything. Chris, can you say it that with a really, really high pitched voice? I found the red jewel. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can you go to deep voice? Can you go to really deep voice? Ding a hole. Can you say, I found the red jewel? I found the red jewel. <laughs> I found the red jewel. That's nothing. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do I do with it even? I think you should no, store the red nobody's, jewel. Nobody's even watching this. I think people closed out about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> nobody's fucking watching this episode. I <laughs> fucking love silly sounds. You laughed. <laughs> silly, silly. One of the f I got one of the funniest comments ever. Somebody a couple days ago said, This is nothing. It's not even funny. It's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. <laughs> so, <laughs> about what? The very positive stream. It's a stream I did. <laughs> 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 did you see that video on Twitter of that monkey going <laughs> and it's like eyes are bugged out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate those things. I love Gibbons. I like I wait. The gibbons aren't the ones that have the big like wind sacks in their throat, are they? they? Do, well, there there are there are gibbons with those. With the and frog, without. yeah, they have oh, frog okay. necks, dude. They big, they have big frog necks that inflate. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah, you poke them with that. pens, and they yeah they they do that that howling thing where they do the. 
Yeah. yeah. I really do want to take. I want to take a big needle and just pop their necks and watch it like a balloon. I can't stand them. I gotta go to Nazi. I love that they're a thing that's far enough away from me to where I don't have to deal with the repercussions of them being what do you a mean thing. Far enough away. Well, I see you do that all the time. You you always go. Well, <laughs> yeah. Your fucking but, your neck inflates it, like a frog. In the instance where I'm doing it, I'm the master of my own reality. At the point where something else is doing it around me, I can't handle that. But Lyle, if I'm the cause you, of it, this goes to everybody. But but would would you guys for a hundred million dollars would you would you have added onto you surgically the gibbon neck frog neck and you cannot get it removed? But in exchange, you get a hundred million dollars. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> I do that. What do you, I do yes. that for a hundred million dollars. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so every time you laugh, your big your neck like goes it inflates like that, like that thing would do. Yeah. Small price to pay. Really? You do it? <laughs> for a hundred million dollars? Absolutely. Yeah. And, but you can never get removed. I don't know if I would. I think it'd I mean, be, that like, would be, be your reputation. That'd be your identity for the rest of your life. You'd yeah, be that guy I, I, who dude, got a hundred million dollars for a gibbon neck. And just roll <laughs> but, with it. But yeah. That's yeah. really scary. That's a good point. <laughs> So Ooh, the, an herb. The leader of the, the lead of a death metal band has a big monkey throat. That's fucking. That's fucking that'd be, metal, dude. That'd be a pretty. That'd be a pretty good gimmick. I don't know. It's also a huge advantage. I think they'd ban you from even being allowed to. to, to <laughs> they ban you for professional metal singing. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like, it's like bionic feet or something. You have it's a huge like advantage. It's like doping in music. Yeah, like. yeah. You have a huge. Yeah, that's doping in music. Is having a big gibbon frog neck. That's, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! That's a guy you let live earlier, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's a that guy you should mercy That was on. a direct result of your kindness. <laughs> that actually gave me a fucking shit attack. <laughs> Starting to feel a little under the weather now. That was a 20 minute payoff. <laughs> you gonna take that mixed herb, or are you gonna wait till you're more critical? I'll wait. Jim's crabs! God, this... Crabs? Okay. Yeah, right Wait, there. What'd you say? It's Jim's crabs. Jim's There's crabs. Jim. He's right out front. <gasps> Old itchy Ooh, Jim, donuts. owner of Jim's crabs. Up here was where there was the fire hose shit, right? Oh, this is getting kind of dicey. You know Ooh. what? I got a little grenade. Make make this count. Is Come this on. laid out like the old game? I, I. No, not at all. Give me this hose. Hello. It's very phallic. <laughs> a little phallic there. That's pretty messed up. From... All right, I everyone, love just get I your I hose love jokes out of the way so we can. I love it. I love it when Reddit uh, sees something with the word sixty-nine and they say, uh, "Nice, nice." That's fun. That's really funny. That's really. <laughs> well, there you go. You could cut bolts now. You could get that Woo! shotgun or whatever was in the thing. Uh oh. Is someone in here? <gasps> Fucking look, nemesis. Fat, look, fat. Get out of here, man. Nemesis is in here. Yeah, you oh, should be oh, able to don't. bolt cut those, but I guess they're, that's a pretty heavy looking lock. Yeah, you're right. I guess you're right, Tomar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it this herb. When you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. I'm really smart, actually. I've been playing games. I'm getting pretty smart, actually. <laughs> Mom, I'm actually getting really smart from games, Mom. I'm actually getting really smart. <laughs> Mom, Mom, I know every day you put me down and call me stupid, but I'm actually getting really smart from video games, so yeah. <laughs> it helps with hand eye coordination. And the jury's still out on the rest. That looks like a tapeworm up my asshole. <laughs> no, no, no! You're not gonna cut open the chained door that she pointed yeah, out? Yeah, that's probably what you're supposed to do with those. Oh no, that's next, but I want to go back and, and bolt cut the other shit I missed first. Oh okay. yeah. There's a bunch. That big cool gun. That was in what, the donut shop? The shoot gun. I don't think I've gone into the donut shop yet, have I? Okay. That's why they call you Chris Completes It, because you're always very thorough when you play video games. <laughs> Actually, people call me the opposite. They always say I don't complete anything. Because oh, one of those. <laughs> yeah, go on, Tomer. Finish your little joke. Go on. No. Okay. You take your shot. Chris is wide it's, open. Take your it's too easy. I'm sorry. He's down. Swing. Kick him. Kick him right <laughs> what in the teeth. What are you gonna say, Tomer? <laughs> I was just gonna say because it's true. <laughs> uh, it is true. I damn it. But people act like we've never beat anything. We've beaten quite a few, actually. Yeah, that's not true. Oh, you usually drop games if they get either boring or people stop watching. So it's your fault, yeah, viewer! And actually, this is a threat. If you want this game, this playthrough to live... <laughs> Keep watching! 
the the DSP approach where you just <laughs> you just yell at and berate um, yeah, your this, audience. This is and your fault. Blame them for everything. <laughs> Zach, look, this is zombie. Say hello to the zombie, Zach. He talks back. Hello. How are you feeling? <laughs> my, my belly hurts. Your belly hurts, you said? My belly hurts. Well, can I, uh, can I get you some soup or some spread or some... <laughs> 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 okay. Go back in here. I think this is where that gun was. Look at her walk. <laughs> when a girl walks into a room and all you hear is... Is it her feet hitting the ground? That's her fucking pussy squelching together. That's her put <sighs> what, what are the- you remember those things in the 90s that were like little- that like little bags full of gel, but they were like green and blue and stuff that you could fit your finger through? Oh yeah, and they would always fucking pop, inevitably. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if those had a name. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. I have no idea what to call it. Can you put an a image up on screen? What is this? Someone find a name for what that it's is. It's like inverted on itself, so it's basically just like a prolapse. And then find out who owns the rights to it. Yeah, and then find out where they live. Someone's trying to get in since I picked up the shotgun. I think it's Nemesis. Oh no. Maybe you should equip the shotgun. Also, maybe that was his. I'll give it a go. <laughs> I, I put that there and you took it from me. No, seriously, you took it from me. Um, what if there was like a comic of sorts or some sort of a parody oh, where, oh, where oh. Nemesis... Nemesis doesn't want to kill Jill, he just wants to talk. What if... He just wants to sit down and split you know, figure out the differences. What if he oh, just wants to compare his hair? That's a bad idea, hair. Chris. He's gonna, that, that, he's gonna come back later. Guys... You're probably right. What I if, wonder does this game save the location of every zombie? What if Animal Crossing and Doom was friends? What is that? Why is all- I actually don't know. I'm completely ignorant. Explain it to me what? like I'm nine years old. What? The Doom and Animal Crossing. What- why? What was the reason that they were being drawn together so much? Oh, they because they came, they came out at the same time. Yeah. Oh, uh, is that literally the only reason? Yeah. Yeah. I forget where I'm going. You guys remember where I got? Do I got to go up here? I think you got to go back up the there, stairs yeah. toward where the fire hydrant was. I can't fucking find yeah, it. Yeah, you went towards Crab World. Everyone's Someone talking about a Crab me World. The grass was much greener. <laughs> much greener. On, on the, the other, other side. side. <laughs> no, I, I think you went through. Oh. oh, there's something else you can cut. Ginger's friend, uh, uh, Blunder was fucking beautiful. Blunder. Which blonder. Was, which was blunder again? Ginger and blonder? Yeah. <laughs> browner. Remember? <laughs> Ginger, blunder, browner. <laughs> Ginger, browner. <laughs> oh, no. Where did he come from? What the hell? You fucking asshole. He heard you singing the as told by Ginger theme song. Baba boy on boy and you go to hell. Oh, his arm came off. His arm came off. That's Shaun of the Dead. Ha <laughs> ha. His bloody arm's off. That's what he says. Stay. <laughs> He was dead and then came back uh, yeah. to life to feel pain that one last time. Do you know time. who the zombie is, Lyle? Yeah, fucking learn. He was learn. dead and he came back to life. Let me just sit down. Sit down for a moment, child. Let me explain to you, child. No, no. Here, mm. here it's a sick guy. Look, zo zombies haven't been a guy that comes out of the ground for a very long time. Yeah, you're, no, you're right. Since like the 70s or probably 80s. If anything, I dropped the gunpowder. Wait. When's the last time a zombie was like lightning striking a grave? Yeah can, yeah, can we can we get to the bottom of this? Do you guys know what the last movie was where a zombie was a literal guy that comes out out of the ground? And he's dead. I guess The Walking Dead, maybe. No, in The that, Walking Dead, they're dudes that get infected or bit, right? Yeah, but aren't yeah. they actually dead people as well? They come out of the ground and stuff. I think, don't they? Mm, I don't know mm. if The Walking Dead has them like literally like coming out of the graveyard and shit like. Yeah, I feel like they I avoid seen that, that stuff. In such a long time. What's that one? Is it called Day of the Dead? No, it's uh, what's what's that one that's almost a comedy movie with with the toxic chemicals in the basement? What's that oh, one? Oh, that's Return of the Living Dead. That's probably the last one to do that, right? Where they're actually just dead people. That's the probably. last one. It's the last one I know of. Anyways, no, go through the donut shop. I'm pretty sure that's where you came from. If anybody <laughs> in the comments knows the answer to our question, please post below. And by I love the way, Return by the of way, the Living Dead. It's also got to be a big mainstream movie. It can't be like an indie film. Indie films don't count. Like the last big blockbuster zombie movie to have dead people and not a virus. Lyle, you were absolutely right. Was I? 
Yeah. I was trying, to, trying to re lead you astray like Loki, like some kind of a go trickster. Go there and go toward the fire hydrant. I'm a girl, I have tits, I have pussy, and a clit. That's the Women's Day theme song. <laughs> the <laughs> See, International Women's Day theme song. The place is the national anthem that day. I don't think they like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't make it up. Oh, yeah. JFK did. <laughs> it, was, it was sung by. It was improvised by JFK. And that's I, why they fucking blew his brains out. I would never do a song, but if I were going to, I would sign it a little something <laughs> like this. <laughs> Pulls out a little electric keyboard. I'm a girl. I have hits. I have pussy and a clit. I'm a girl. I have hits. I have pussy and a 